Hello! In this video, we're going to be going over an aspect of game development that's often overlooked, version control. During game development, it's quite important to maintain backups of your code and assets. This practice is known as version control, and it's helpful for developers of all levels. So, what exactly is version control? It's a system that tracks and manages changes to your project files over time. It has many key benefits, like history tracking, you can review your project's entire history, seeing who changed what and when, Backup, your project is backed up and stored securely on the cloud. Revert changes, you can often easily roll back to previous versions of your project in case you make a mistake or want to go back to a previous version. And collaboration, multiple team members can work on the same project at the same time. Version control can be challenging for game development, particularly when dealing with large asset files. However, there are some new tools designed specifically for game developers. One tool I've been exploring is Diversion. It's built for game development offering better handling of large binary files compared to traditional version control systems. Diversion even has a free tier with 100 gigabytes of storage and supports up to 20 collaborators, and is designed to be easy to set up. Thanks for Diversion for reaching out and sponsoring this video. Let's go over how you can easily set up version control in your Unreal Engine projects. Okay, so to get started, you wanna head over to Diversion's website and just click this Get Started button. We're gonna install Diversion. So you can either create an account or log in with Google. So I'm just going to do that now. Once you um, log in, it should take you to a screen like this. And then you just want to download the Windows installer. Once you've done that, it should appear on your desktop here. You can just double click to open it up and then you may need to log in. Okay, so next I'm going to set up version control for one of my Unreal Engine projects. So I've just gone over to the Epic Schemes launcher and I'm going to create a new Unreal Engine project. I'm going to select third person and I'm just going to call this my version control test. Okay, once you've done that, you can reopen Diversion and then to basically um, connect this to your Unreal Engine project, you just want to click new repository and then you can either create a new folder or you can basically specify um, where your Unreal Engine project is. So I'm going to specify where my Unreal Engine project is. So I'm just going to go create from existing folder and I'm just going to go over to where my Unreal Engine project is. Okay, so I've just gone over to where my project is. It's called version control test. So I've just selected it and I'm just going to go create and this will create a repository for my project. If you don't know, a repository is basically where you can store your files for your project. So we just want to go over to view repo. Okay, and then what we can do is we can make a commit, which will basically save the version of our project. So if we just select here, and this will basically save any changes that we've made to our project, and then we can write a commit message. And I'm just going to call this project setup, and then go commit and then go commit again, and then it will basically save our project. Then if I just go back to my Unreal Engine project, I can make some changes. So I'm just gonna select this cube and then duplicate it and just save it. And then if I go back to Diversion, if I click this little um, change list, I can see all of the different changes that I've made to my project. So you can see that I basically added this cube model. So I'm just gonna select it and I'm just going to call this placed cube and commit that. Okay, nice. So now I've saved that and let's make another change because with version control, it's very easy to go back to previous versions of projects. So I'm just going to go over to my third person character and over to the viewport and I'm just going to select um, a mannequin and I'm just going to go over to the material. I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to go to base color and select tint and I'm just going to make it have a red tint. I'll save this and I'll also change that other material. And now if I go back to my third person character, they're red. I can close this and if I play my game, my character's red. And I'm just going to save this, go back to diversion and just click here and I'm going to commit. So I'm just going to call this um, changed player character. And I'll just commit this. Although let's say that was a mistake and I didn't actually mean to change the color of my player character. What we can do is go over to history and um, we can actually make it so we can go back to a previous version of our project. In order to make sure this works, just close your Unreal Engine project. 
and then what we can do is just select um, these three little arrows and then just click undo this commit. It will say this action will create changes on the workspace that revert the changes made in the cited commit. Do you want to proceed? You can click yes and then we'll undo that. So now if I reopen up my Unreal Engine project and I play my game, we can see um, it's reverted that change. So I'm no longer the red character. So you can see how that could be helpful. If say um, you're working on a larger project and you accidentally make a mistake, you can easily go back to a previous version of that project. They also created a plugin which allows you to um, commit changes directly from Unreal Engine. It's a bit easier, so I wanna just install that plugin. If you go over to the Unreal Engine Marketplace and look for Diversion, click here, and then um, you just wanna go install to Engine, and then I installed this to Unreal Engine version 5.4, because that's the version I'm using. Then if you just go over to your project, once you've installed it, go Edit, Plugins, then look for Diversion. We're going to select it and then just go restart now. Then once you've done that, you just want to go over to revision control and go connect to revision control. Go to provider and just select diversion. And then basically select the root of the repository of your project. It's automatically done it for me for this project. Go accept settings. And then make sure your diversion app is open. And then um, let me just make some changes. So I'm just going to add another cube. And then I'm going to go over to my um, third person character and add some more code. So I won't begin play. After I do all of this, let's just add a print string, which says hello, compile this, and then go file and save all. So if you go to your third person character, right now we can see this is being updated. This little icon basically means it's just kind of updating it. And it's kind of, um, Diversion basically knows about it. In order to basically um, save this in our version control, we just need to go over to revision control, then go over to commit changes. And then we can see all of the different changes that um, we basically made. So if I just double click on my third person character, so if I just go to the string, this is basically showing me the changes I've made. So um, after this node, I added a print string. I can close this. We can also see that I've added this um, Schaefer cube five. So I can see all of the different changes that I made. And then I just need to have a commit of what I've done. So I'm just gonna call this um, update via code and level design. I'll commit this. If I go to the app and I go to the history, we can see um, I've made the change here. Okay, nice. And right now I'm on my PC. I do have a laptop, although it doesn't have Unreal Engine 5.4, but you can easily add other collaborators to your project. So if I just click here, go home, what you can do is just click on these three little arrows, go over to collaborators, and then we can basically share who we want to basically um, collaborate this project with. And let's say I had this on another um, PC, I can easily access and play with my project from that PC as well. So that's basically how you can easily set up version control in Unreal Engine. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.